How can we truly understand how far one light year really is? If you were to pilot a spaceship traveling at the speed of light and travel in a straight line through the vacuum of space for about 365 days, that distance would be exactly one light year. That's approximately 9.4607 trillion kilometers. That's right, light year isn't just a unit of time, it's a unit of distance that for humans is practically infinitely large. However, just talking about it doesn't truly convey the scale of a light year. So this video will take you on a journey from Earth into the depths of the solar system to help you more intuitively understand just how incredibly far one light year is. As we all know, light travels about 300,000 kilometers per second. It's the fastest known speed in the universe. This means that if you were on a spaceship traveling at the speed of light, you could circle Earth seven and a half times in just one second. If you flew to the moon, it would only take 1.3 seconds. So we can think of it this way. The moon is 1.3 light seconds away from Earth. Mars is between 55 million and 400 million kilometers from Earth. This incredibly vast distance means all Mars probes have to drift through space for a very long time to reach it. For example, China's Tianwen-1 probe, after its launch in July 2020, took nearly seven months to reach Mars. This is also why it's so difficult for humans to colonize Mars. However, for a light-speed spaceship to travel to Mars, it would only take a mere three minutes at its fastest. From this, we can see that when Mars is closest to Earth, it's about three light minutes away, still very far from the unit of a light year. And even for Saturn, which is about 1.2 billion to 1.7 billion kilometers from Earth and located at the far end of the solar system, it would only take us between 1.1 and 1.6 hours to fly there at the speed of light. Therefore, Saturn is only about 1.4 light hours away from Earth. Yet, the Cassini-Huygens probe, launched in October 1997, took almost seven years to reach Saturn. It's not hard to imagine that for humans, even a light hour seems so incredibly distant. Even the New Horizons spacecraft, traveling at an ultra-fast speed of up to 58,000 kilometers per hour, still needed to fly for a full nine years and six months to pass by Pluto, which is, on average, about 5.5 light hours away from Earth. However, if you truly want to grasp how far one light year is, the answer might lie with Voyager 1. This is the farthest human-made spacecraft to ever fly from Earth. Launched in 1977, after completing its mission to explore multiple planets, Voyager 1 is headed in the general direction of the constellation Ophicus. Currently, its speed has reached over 61,000 kilometers per hour. Yet, as of 2024, a full 46 years have passed and it has only traveled 24.3 billion kilometers. That's not even one light day. If you convert that to light years, it's roughly 0.0025 light years. This means that Voyager 1, representing the highest speed of human-made spacecraft today, would still need to spend a full 17,600 years or more to cross the distance of one light year. You can imagine how incredibly distant a light year is for us. And currently, it's completely meaningless for humanity to spend thousands of years to cross one light year, because it's completely meaningless. Because even if you flew one light year from Earth, you would only just exit the boundary of the Oort cloud. Keep in mind that Proxima Centauri, the closest star to our Sun, is 4.2 light years away. And the Milky Way, which contains our solar system, has a diameter of at least 100,000 light years. What's more, beyond the Milky Way, there are hundreds of billions of other galaxies. So, looking at the vast, boundless expanse of interstellar space, just as one light year is incredibly distant for humans, it is equally insignificant for the universe itself. However, even though we are in a tiny, insignificant corner of the universe, our spirit of exploring the unknown fills the entire vast universe beyond light years.